Hey everybody, tonight I'm going to do a practical test. I'm going to stack three different filters against one another. I'm going to use a UV IR cut filter, the Anthelia quad filter, and a dual band hydrogen alpha and oxygen three filter. I'm going to see how they compare on the same patch of sky. Hi, my name is Chris and welcome to my channel. So this is my little portable rig. Right now it consists of a uh, Nikon Nikkor 300F ED lens. And uh, this is a really great lens. I really liked using it, but I'm going to swap it out for tonight. I'm going to shoot with this. This is uh, a Nikkor 20 millimeter uh, 2.8 lens which I'm going to be using stop down to 5.6 or maybe 8. <clears throat> I had it, I had it uh, fully open the other night and uh, unfortunately it led to quite a bit of stretching around the edges. Alright, so quickly having a look at these, uh, first of all, the images with the stars removed. Uh, let's start with the dual band. Most obviously, the dual band shows us the hydrogen alpha and oxygen rich regions, which are these ones right here. Uh, next up is the quad without stars. And with the quad, we can, we can see some of that nebulosity, actually quite a bit of it, but we also see a lot of uh, what I suppose is dust in the uh, arm of the galaxy uh, and the hydrogen alpha and the oxygen are not as neatly defined they're not as uh, clear and they don't stand out as much but they certainly are there and then finally with the UV IR cut filter we see some of the dust we see very little of the hydrogen alpha and oxygen and we've got this weird light pollution discoloration happening here which um, I guess I should have taken calibration frames so we're going to rule that out. Now, looking at the stars that are resulting from this, these are the stars from the dual band. They are very tight. Um, they are very small. Let me zoom in a little bit here. View image, fit and window. So uh, they're slightly off color. They're shifted a little bit reddish green. Um, they're, they're certainly not very saturated in terms of uh, all of the radiance, the um, bloom that you would get in the background of stars if you're using just regular broadband imaging. Now with the quad stars, this is where I'm thinking that there's a focus issue here, that the quad must be a different thickness than uh, the other two filters, because this does not look like it's in focus to me. That or the stars are just very bloated. So I'm going to revisit uh, these stars next time I image. Uh, but 
if you're looking at the coloring of the stars, they're they're all beige, right? There's this like beigey undertone to the stars, which is similar to uh, the beigey undertone of uh, the galaxy itself too. There's some red reddish hues, there's some beige hues, brownish hues, bit of green here. Uh, and then finally, we've got the UV IR cut filter without stars. Uh, and uh, the stars of the rather UV IR cut filter, and uh, wow, uh, this is where where the stars really uh, come out. Now I stretched this quite a bit, um, and I stretched using a much wider linear stretch. Uh, but if I had done that same kind of linear stretch with the quad stars, uh, I would have just really oversaturated the image because of the nebula that was coming out in the background. So, um, I guess end result is if you want to image uh, across all three filters and then combine the image, I think that would be best. You would have, let's say, the uh, dual band without stars. So here we've got some of the redness of, of uh, the hydrogen, alpha, and oxygen. And here we've got the quad without stars. Let me just make a, a copy of this. So I'm going to duplicate this image or this layer, I'm going to duplicate this layer, and I'm going to duplicate this layer. So all three layers without stars have been duplicated now. And in the duplicate layer, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to knock back the background. That way, I can stack these layers by adding them. maybe this is a better way of looking at it. So here you can really see the dust. Alright, so this is UV IR cut. This is uh, the uh, quad filter. And then here we have just the hydrogen alpha. And if we stack them now, so we'll take this, we'll add it to the quad. Right, so now we've got the addition of the reds. And now let's add the UV IR cut. I really don't like what, whatever that is there. I don't know if adding the UV IR cut does anything for this image though. Because everything in the UV IR cut is already handled better by the quad. So let's just add the stars from the UV IR cut. Alright, that's almost too much stars, isn't it? Yeah. Let's knock them down a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, so uh, I think that makes for a much better uh, image. So we've knocked back the stars a little bit from the UV IR cut filter. We have the uh, dust from the quad, and we have the nebula regions from the dual band. And uh, there we have it. So if you've got these three filters, then you can certainly composite images like this. Uh, again, we aligned the images using uh, Cyril, which is pretty cool. Cyril was able to uh, align the images so that they're exactly in the same orientation, which is uh, makes it easier to, to then do the type of layering work that we did here. Uh, I'm going to clean this up a little bit and post it to the end of the video. Again, not expecting too much. This is 10 minutes apiece from each filter in a Bortle 8 sky uh, with uh, not great seeing conditions, which is just par for the course with where I live. But um, that's it for now. Thanks for watching, and clear skies.